Sacktown Sports. Headlines. I'm Christopher Lodd with your Sacktown Sports headlines. Sacramento Kings host the Golden State Warriors for their final home game of the regular season. Warriors currently have a one-game lead over the Lakers for that final spot in the playoffs. For more on this game, check out our Kings insider Frankie Cardaselli's preview on SacktownSports.com. You can catch tonight's game with game night at 5.30 and tip-off schedule for 7 right here on Sacktown Sports. Day two of the Masters is on its way, and the leader right now is Brooks Kepka. He is currently 12 under par, and there's a three-way tie for second. Victor Hovland, John Rahm, and Sam Bennett are all seven under. Tiger Woods just finished his second hole. He's even for the day, and he is plus two for the tournament and tied for 50th. Those are your Masters updates. It's brought to you by Naturewood Home Furnishing, where it's all about choices and always about quality. Now it's time for the Deuce and Mo Show. Live from Sacramento. Live from Sacramento. It's Deuce and Mo on Sacktown Sports. We are live. Happy, happy Friday. Deuce Mason, Morgan, Reagan, alongside our buddy Chris Ooh. Watkins here on Sacktown Sports, 1140 SacktownSports.com. How are we doing today? I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Doing. Good. How about you, Chris? I'm doing all right. I'm holding on. <laughs> Chris Verlot. I've been better. Okay. Chris yeah. Verlot is wearing like, glasses I'm... today. It's throwing me off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, someone left the uh, the blue lights glasses in yeah. here, and I'm just like, haha! I'll put them on as a joke. I'm like, oh wow, this is actually kind of nice. They're helpful. Uh, they help okay. the eyeballs. Okay. Uh, we have a jam packed show for you, of course. Kings and Warriors tonight. Uh, Who the hell's playing? We'll talk about that. We do have to start today's show with an announcement. Mm-hmm. Announcement. So, what a journey. What what a journey. What a journey. So, let's just get to the headline. This is going to be our last show on Sackdown Sports 1140 today. This is not an April Fool's this joke. No. We are past April Fool's. Um, and this is our decision 100 billion percent. Let's just take you through this process together. Come on with us. Join us. <laughs> come, on, come here for this journey. So... Months and months ago, when we were approached to come back and do a show here, a little bit hesitant. Uh, we had a past here. You know, it took us some time. And then we got to a point where, like, you know what? We're going to take on this challenge. We knew it was going to be challenging and take on a, a lot of our time. We got a lot of different things going on. But let's do it. Yeah. And everyone here has been awesome. Well, and just to keep going, elaborating off the start sure, of that take the journey too. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Just to elaborate, it's like you said, it was it was this this different relationship that we had from the start. So to be able to rebuild that relationship and take this journey on was like really cool. We're like, okay, this could be a full circle thing. It was, and you know, I started here long, long, long ago when I was sixteen years old. Left, came back then got fired and then came back this time and it was totally a full circle moment and it was exciting to be a part of what Sacktown Sports is building here which is live and local 6A to 6P digital presence it excited us and so we came here we started doing the show and you know two weeks in we realized oh my god Mm. this is a lot We just added to our plate, running a business on the side with the podcast, Mm -hmm. doing TV work, doing stuff on the Kings radio broadcast, like spread completely thin. And I know some people think maybe you just turn on the mics and talk and go and go and go. Nope. There's a lot of prep uh, that goes into it. There's booking guests. There's all this stuff. We reached a point, and I'm sure for those who have listened to us every day since we've been back here, where we were like, Oh my God, like I am mentally drained. My brain is not working. I am not working out. I'm not healthy. I can't, I can't keep doing this. And we both agreed, hey, sometimes you don't know your limit until you reach it. We reached our limit and we made the tough decision that we can't keep doing this show. Uh, we made this decision a few weeks back and we weren't going to like drag it out for weeks. So th- today, Last show. And, you know, it's it's one of those things just to kind of go off of what Deuce was saying, too. We weren't we didn't feel like we were being great at 
anything within our jobs. And we felt like maybe we were letting people down here when we had to be off because this is, it's like a team sport, right? You, you, you never want to be like, oh, well, I have to take off that day. I have to take off that day because then everyone has to shift. And those things were starting to happen. We didn't want to let anyone down, but we also wanted to be great at anything that we did. And um, now we'll have more time to focus and be great at the things that we've already had on our plate. But, um, but yeah, this whole thing has been just about really our time, our mental space yeah. and when you start becoming cynical too and just like not appreciating it appreciating everything because you're loading so much in your brain it was like making this decision was so difficult but my god deuce how lucky are we that in this industry we are ending on not only great terms yeah. you guys will still hear us on uh sacktown sports because we will still be dropping on by and everything with these guys but it just doesn't happen often. And no. we're just so thankful for this journey, this full circle moment. And thank you guys for being along with us. Yeah. And it's also something, you know, that is difficult to make because, you know, you came back here in January. It's April. It hasn't been that long. But when you know, you know. And the best part about this whole thing has been the fact that we have rebuilt a relationship with some people here that we did not have a relationship with anymore. And, uh, at one point and so this station has been nothing but supportive when we were going through some of the tough times early on yeah trying to navigate through this and like morgan said it is so rare to leave on a good note with a place but this is it's it, we're leaving on a great note and it's everything's good we just know we can't commit to doing this at the levels we want to and live a healthy lifestyle you got to have some balance in life, and that's what we had to do. And now one of the greatest things that came out of this, too, was um, really getting to connect with some of the people here. Obviously, Chris Verlaud, we've known over the years, but being able to really connect with Chris Watkins and, like, Frankie. and I mean, the list goes on, so I'm not going to just name everyone. I'm just naming the people that we've obviously have done things with weekly. And um, thank you for making this time awesome for us too, Chris, because you, you've been a part of it. And I'm just so glad that you've been able to have a bigger role here and um, just always trying to learn and experience everything that you want to do in this business as well. And it's all about empowering the next generation. And so I'm just so glad that like, you're going to continue on this path. I mean, I pre first off, this is a tough way to be learning that you guys are leaving yeah. into the <laughs> let me know beforehand. And He's now I'm just lying. sitting here He's and I'm lying. like, geez, I guess I don't have another spot. That was sort of how I found out about it. Yeah, geez. <laughs> it's like, I, they, yeah. hey, Chris, we're quitting. Let's go on. I'm yeah, uh, we got to go on. Jeez. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but I mean, you guys have been great since the, the day, even since before you guys stepped in here. You guys have helped me through my journey from, be, again, before you guys were even in the building. You guys have been great. You guys have been so great for this building, for this station. I mean, I, I can go on and on, but I, I'm honestly and truthfully really happy for both of you that Thanks. you made this decision. We've been talking a lot about just everything that goes on to making these shows happen it's a lot of work. And I, you know, we would come in every single day. I would ask you guys, how are you doing? It'll be some variation of dead, tired, have yeah. no energy. And I hated to do it because at the end of the day, you're here talking sports and hanging out. Doing something hours. you love. Right. And that's where you went. You have to check yourself. And it got to a point, man, where you're like, Oh my God. Okay. I was up until, you know, one <laughs> 30 in the morning, two o'clock finishing podcast yeah. up, waking up at six to prep for the show. Oh, I got a Kings game tonight. And you're realizing, wow, I'm not spending time doing anything, anything. but this, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not doing anything at the level that I expect from myself, right. what Morgan expects from herself. And it's not an easy decision. It's really not. No, you know, there's you, no way. At, at some point, you you feel bad. You're, oh, I'm leaving people hanging. But that's why we've been nothing but honest with people here. Yep. That's why we're being honest with you. There's no ill will. There's nothing. I mean, honestly, I... I'm a little bummed because the new boss here, Brian, <laughs> is He's probably great. he is no. one of the greatest guys I've ever met. I'm like, yeah. where was this guy in this business? I know. you know, the last decade because he could have helped this place sooner, mm -hmm. but he is going to help lead this place in a great direction. Um, you, people like yourself, Frankie, okay. Simone. I mean, we're talking about young people, new voices, right. and I, I'm excited for that. And like like Morgan said, we're still gonna be around. I'll be dropping in during the playoffs. Yeah. I, I know you better. I will. I will for sure. Morgan, Morgan. you know, her schedule's a little different. No, <laughs> but we'll we'll definitely drop in and 
we're still it's not like you it's you're dead to us yeah. now it's it's all good man well and you guys you guys know when we first came in here that was our number one thing was rate it's evolving radio right yeah. and it was all about not hating another station not hating other other podcasts or competition it was about embracing it it was about letting it light a little fire under your tush it was about collaborating and being the best that you can be yeah. in this community and that's why i think that's been able to be be our our messaging throughout this time even as soon as we told them like this is too much. We yeah. can't do this. They were so supportive and accepting of it, it that it's this whole experience of, yeah, now even after we leave, we're going to have this relationship. This was the best decision that we ever made to take this mm -hmm. job and to also leave this job. Yeah. yeah. And it's, um, I feel like a weight's been lifted a little bit too. Sure, just from right. a, And it, it, it was just doing everything. Yeah. But this has been a great time. I mean, just thinking about, where the Kings are at, huh? Thinking about huh. they're getting ready for the playoffs, and we've been here to you know chronicle it with you and yeah. others. It's it's been a fun time, man. It's been a fun time. It's it's definitely bittersweet, but you know. So who's going to start singing P songs during the breaks? I I, I I think that probably moves on, Morgan. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to keep doing the same stuff, yeah. you know. Oh, really? Yeah, no. they're not hiring like a a Bruce and. <laughs> And, and low. Bruce and low, yeah. Bruce and low. Yeah. nobody else is gonna be taking six to seven pee breaks that's also true so. that's i don't take i take like two. Oh, it's, two to three i mean i have a lot minimum. of songs you know that were made there up. are a lot of songs <laughs> well today we're, we're gonna go over every great moment that has happened in the last two and a half months mm -hmm. that's all we're gonna do today. Kidding. I'm like, what? I'm like, wait, what has even going on <laughs> Oh, ironically, goodness. I have been setting up like a best of yeah. compilation that I've been Ooh. doing Made for the since, you guys, a lot since of you guys started. Yeah. I didn't think I'd be playing it this early. but <laughs> yeah. He did so. know that it was coming at some point. Yeah. Though. He was like, I better start. It's going to be hard to dig into the archives. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Oh, ironically, I have been the person on the show that has been on the most shows. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for sure. Right. In this time slot. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You deserve a plaque. Chris is staying. For yeah, I'll still be here. Yeah, Chris will, Chris will still be here. Yeah. Well, hey, let's take a break for 60 yeah, let's seconds. Do, it. do you have any other final thoughts? Did we miss anything? I, I no. We didn't exactly plan this out. We just want to yeah. say we're leaving. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> it's it's a, all over. No. As Morgan just said a, a few minutes ago to the boss, yeah, it's a good breakup, though. Like, everyone's happy. <laughs> I did say that. I yeah, think it's, I was like, it it's not I mean, a breakup, though. And, and it's, I'm, it's cool. I'm the kid that has to now go oh, between both parents. Oh, God. Oh, and, he, and he has to find new talent. You know, I know. Okay. so it's Chris is the orphan. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you know what? Well, we're still here, honey. At we're least still I get two here. Christmases. Oh, hey, God. true. Oh, very true. Christmases. Two Thanksgivings. Uh, no, Deuce, I think, um, you know, I think today, just like always, you guys, we still want to talk Kings. We still want to talk sports. Um, we'll definitely be sprinkling. If you guys... If you guys want to share your best moments within <laughs> yeah. these last two mm -hmm. months, um, please share them on the chat. The and moment where Morgan complained about like her skin breakout or oh not sleeping, or <laughs> I just it's a lot. Mo's minute. Oh, yeah. let's talk about Deuce's complaints. How many times has it? Deuce yelled at commenters? Thank you. <laughs> not that many. It's been In a handful. two months. It's been a handful. It's been yeah, enough, bro. It's not been two double digits. We're only talking about. Double? I almost yelled at one today. I almost yelled at one today. This guy in the chair was like, "You don't just quit a job after two months." Well, no, and then, I mean, they you don't, but they yeah. did. Yeah, no, you you do when your your yeah. mental health and everything is on the line. Yeah. But um, but yeah, no, I like I said, we'll be sprinkling this in yeah. throughout the day with you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments about it, um, we also have Brendan and uh, Brendan Nunez and Frankie Cardicelli joining us within the twelve o'clock hour. They're going to King Shoot Around, so like we'll have fun with them again. And then obviously the last hour will be the Remember Hour. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, you can okay. you can come you can totally hang, hang out the whole day. day. I don't care. Yeah. Sorry, bosses. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> we can't today. get fired <laughs> now. That's true, right? I wish no. y'all would. All right, we need to take a 60 second break on the radio side. We'll be back in 60 seconds and we'll talk some Kings Warriors. It's gonna be a weird game. This is Deuce and Mo on Sacktown Sports 1140 and SacktownSports.com. Well, there it is.